How's it going, everybody? Let me get set up. Try it to King James. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Thanks be to God, which gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Final chapter. Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given order to the churches of Galatia, even so do ye. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store as God have prospered him, that there be no gatherings when I come. And when I come, whomsoever ye shall approve by your letters, them I will send to bring your liberality unto Jerusalem. And if it be meet that I go also, they shall go with me. Now I will come unto you when I shall pass through Macedonia, for I do pass through Macedonia. About the money being collected for God's people in Jerusalem, you should follow the same procedure I gave to the churches in Galatia on the first day of each week. You should put aside a portion of the money that you have earned. Don't wait until I get there and then try to collect it all at once. When I come, I'll write letters of recommendation for the messengers you choose to deliver your gift to Jerusalem. And if it seems appropriate for me to go along, they can travel with me. I'm coming to visit after I've been to Mes Mes Macedonia. For I am planning to travel through Macedonia. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Let's open the book of Revelation. What do you say? So, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that heareth the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. So when the book of Revelation is opened... God is saying, it's time. And these things will shortly come to pass. It won't take long once it's opened. And I suspect that it's just less than half a year, the way, the way things are now. Uh, well, before the end of this month, the book will be open, but all things will have been completed. And then the beginning of God's wrath, which I'm not sure how long that is, but I think God's wrath, if, if the Antichrist gets his fake deadly wound late November, early December, like I suspect, um, April 20th, abomination of desolation, I think, look up, <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as... The fallen angel demonic spirits enter into all the goes and they start killing sheep at a rapid pace as like they're superheroes. Remember the strength of the girl in the exorcist and the strength of the guy in the movie Venom, which excellent predictive programming. If you fuse those two together, um, it won't take them long to wipe out all the sheep. And Jesus said he must cut those days short or no flesh would be saved. I think Jesus might come on the on the third day. So April 22nd. And, and it's not that Jesus comes because no man knoweth the day or the hour. But the end of the great tribulation will take place. In other words, and we'll get to that verse when it gets very quiet. Silence in heaven. 
it's yeah it's good stuff i thought i was done <laughs> blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy did i read this up here who bear records of the word of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that heareth the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Okay, I think that's where I stop. John to the seven churches. So the church is divided into seven. Seven is the number for cleansing. That's the number used for God's wrath upon the earth because he's going to cleanse the earth. It is the number right there of the church divided into seven because the church is about to go through its cleansing. And it says when he, when he went down and was told to dip himself seven times in the river Jordan, his flesh became like unto the flesh of a little child and he, he was clean. He had leprosy. Seven is for cleansing. That's Old Testament, 2 Kings 5.14. John unto the seven churches would are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him, which was Jesus, excuse me, which is Jesus, which was Jesus, which is to come, Jesus, and from the seven spirits, which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and he hath made us kings and priests that's the two witnesses it's the church he has made us kings and priests unto god and his father to him be the glory and dominion forever and ever amen i love you very much ask questions anytime that's what i'm here for